Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing okay with everything that's going on in the world right now. Uh, we're trying to make the best of it and what better way to do that than spend money. <laughs> and uh, I picked up our trailer that we're gonna be pulling behind the cab over that's gonna be hauling the flat nasty and our side-by-sides and all that good stuff. She needs some work, but uh, here it is. We're about to go over it. It's a 2006 Kaufman. So here it is guys, it is a 40 foot Kaufman equipment trailer, 50,000 pound GVWR. It's got a fifth wheel hookup, air brakes, all the good stuff. The biggest thing I like is this deck up front is 10 freaking foot long. It's gonna work great, Chaz is side by side, will fit up here, all kinds of stuff. And it's like almost nine foot wide, it's freaking huge. So we got 10 foot up here, up next on the list, up next on our list is this little walkway. Very slick, but it's got this metal bar here. <laughs> it's three foot. We've got a three foot ramp to get to our 10 foot deck. And back here on my big black deck, we've got 20 foot of uh, 23 foot of space for the mega truck. Like I said, whatever else, more broken cab overs we want to pick up and buy or any other projects. And then once we get back here to the back of the trailer, we've got a five foot dovetail. That means we've got five foot of space to put whatever else. And we got these glorious ramps. Yes, they're a little beat up, a little rough, but uh, we're gonna fix them up. So we've got 40 foot trailer all together, guys, to put all kinds of cool projects on. So uh, let's go over the damages that are all that be fixed. So first things first, we're gonna go over is probably the lighting system on the trailer. Uh, whenever it was delivered, the most of the lights worked. Um, it is missing a few lights here and there. You can see they are an older style light non led and i want to replace all the lights on this trailer and make them all 100 percent leds so we've got to go through the entire wiring system the most though like wire wiring harness and stuff like that and the plugs are all still there and i did talk to kaufman i can get a whole new wiring harness that's basically plug and play to go on here we may do that um, i'm not sure yet it does have onboard abs so that's pretty cool <laughs> the cab over doesn't even know what abs is so we've got onboard ABS. We have parking brake canisters on the trailer. You guys know that the semi only has two parking brake canisters on the front forward, forward drive axle. So um, now we've got this trailer hooked to us, we'll have even more parking brake power. It has an onboard, it looks like a 15 gallon um, air tank back here also. So air brakes, I haven't really looked at the brakes too much. Um, my buddy delivered it with his semi, didn't have the glad hands, he had quick connect, so he didn't bring it home with brakes hooked up. He did have lights hooked up, so right now, the canisters um, do have the chamber bolts in there to hold the parking brakes from being on. So uh, we don't know the condition of the brakes. We're gonna have to tear into those. I know this one was sticking and some of them have oil leaking from the front of the hubs here. They are a 10 bolt style, 17.5 wheels. So buy truck wheels, I'm working with these guys. You guys hook a brother up. Let's put some aluminum rims on this thing, make it look nice. But um, so that's what we got going on with our brakes. The axles, obviously we're gonna pull the hubs off of them, check all the bearings, put new seals fill them full of oil and do everything top to bottom like we did with um, our other projects. And these are a bud style wheel actually, so I just noticed that. So same kind of style lug nuts and stuff that are on the cab over right now. <sighs> so that's what we've got going on. The tires are decent. They're not 100% like, see this one right here is probably like 85% tread. And then this one's like 30. Got and then chopping action going they're on. chopped and missing, stuff like that. So we want to make sure these axles are straight. So I might take it somewhere and let someone check the axles, make sure they're not bent. Um, so yeah, that's the good stuff. A chain binder man, this whole thing. You know, actual straps. No binder, everything. I know you're a binder man. <laughs> so our spirit, now to go over like the damage on the trailer as far as what I, the visible damage. Um, there's a lot of welding that's gonna need to be done. This right here is a spare tire holder and that strap right there that like holds that one got caught on something and got bent. So we're gonna have to straighten that out. A lot of big hammering gonna happen there. Uh, most of the places where all these um, hooks are that you know you tie stuff down, strap stuff down with, are kind of bent and uh, not really right here, but I'll show you on the back. And obviously the big thing sticking out is it doesn't have a wooden deck on it. The deck from the owners I bought it from said it started go having problems. They just ripped it all off and kind of just like knocked all the old bolts out of it, which is nice for us because Chaz and I have put a lot of decks on trailers. <coughs> over the years and taking these old bolts out was a major pain and dealing with all the old wood so all that stuff's already done and gone so i do have brand new deck screws up in the office i already got those ordered so that in case we can't order stuff for the next couple days we'll be able to so the deck 
job is halfway done wood's already gone so i've got new deck screws like the correct deck screws I actually like self tap into this um, metal and stuff we've got tons of drill bits already i think i ordered like 15 um so that's what we got going on the deck there are a couple pieces of metal that were like this one right here is bent you can see it's only this one and that one on their side so it's almost like something got stuck and they didn't know what to do i don't know what happened so these right here this one i think we can straighten it's not too bad i'll put a rosebud on it get nice and hot and hit it with a hammer a couple times um one thing i don't like is on these crossbars that are in here the welds are only right there there's no welds on top of them but well i think someone added that weld that's mm -hmm. not that ain't original and what i was talking about right there you can see guys from where these hooks have been like ripped off or almost ripped off and let me cut the camera straight for you and they've re-welded them and done all kinds of repairs so as long as they're stout i'm gonna inspect them to the best of my ability and make sure they're good and um you know go from there but yeah you can see where almost all these hooks have been rewelded where they're like ripped out so on a lot of this stuff i'm noticing right now chaz just pointed out to me is these are i-beams right here and these are c-channel and all the c-channels are rid of all these i-beams have been added in here they're not factory so what i'm thinking is maybe they're just loading equipment on it and just parking on top of the i-beams we're less hoping for the best so we'll make these work we're not too worried about that we obviously can't put nothing right here because of the tire so i may just like build a metal plate right here just to go over that tire like some nice heavy duty diamond plate kind of like on our other trailers and stuff we use and uh get rid of some of this old unnecessary metal that's not being used anymore because they changed the style um the ramps are all in really good shape surprisingly they're not bent all to crap and neither is this back bar back here usually this bar is bent really bad from people overloading it um just little things like this where the metal's bent right there this back here has been out probably where they got stuck and someone pulled them out with it yep that's exactly what that is so i want to fix that this ramp's bent right here a little bit and then the uh point up here on the ramps kind of tweaked and stuff so i want to get all the metal work done fixed up probably gonna be like a solid day project with help of my buddy austin and um getting the metal done and then we're gonna most likely i was thinking about sandblasting but it's a lot of sandblasting. Hit, and it with, hit it with a wire brush. Well, that's a lot of wire brushing too. We may just like hit wire brush on like the rusty spots and then we're gonna pressure wash the crap out of it with some super clean and get it nice and clean. I do like that it's got all these um, straps on it already. Those do, are nice because if we go to haul something other than trucks and stuff on it, they're already there. So this huge piece of metal is broke out. This is a piece of like four inch C channel. So uh, we need to just replace that and get rid of that completely and put a new one on there because that one's 100 percent just junk there is no bend in that back straight but i did check under there all the axle bushings and all that good stuff the leaf spring bushings are all still in good shape there's no broken leaf springs so that's good um and then the best part up here is we were worried about having to put a higher rise fifth wheel on it because on the cab over because of the deck but the way this one's made is that fifth wheel plate actually sits lower than the actual deck so we may have to we may have to get rid of these but if i have to get rid of one of these and not have to worry about putting a high-rise fifth wheel on the truck then that'll be great that'll make things a lot easier it does have jack, a landing gear with a jack and it does have a two-speed jack which is nice so um, you guys know we don't have air suspension on the back so we can't just drop suspension and drive out from underneath it um, and being too too lazy so trailer check we've got a trailer now so now I just gotta get it fixed up and get the cab over done. Gotta get the cab over. Get, I literally can't even move this around the yard without the cab over, so, or without a semi. I've got the new air hoses and stuff for the semi. I actually had to, he had to use those because it has an older style hookup on stuff than what his truck had. And this one has glad hands. We may convert these over to like a quick connect style. I don't know yet. Glad hands are just old school stuff, so we might go to quick connect. But little things like this. I want it to look good whenever we pull up we've put repainted it and it's got new rims on it and all that good stuff it needs to not have these huge dents and dings everywhere i know it's an equipment trailer guy okay guys we're back out here the next day i got a little busy last night uh trying to do a couple things um so i want to update you guys a lot of you were on my rear about this freaking jeep um about destroying it well i'm not gonna destroy it since i've sold my 98 dodge truck um and did a little bit of research my credit isn't good enough to buy an eighty thousand dollar new dodge truck right now they said give it about a month you should be good to go they wanted like 30 grand down i am not doing that so um what i do today i went out and tagged the jeep <laughs> i actually took it to rancho last night tagged you guys can see it's legit and uh we threw the go light on it and this thing's a freaking ripper so window i rolled it down if you guys remember it was busted and now it doesn't roll back up so 
driver's window is always down right now. I don't really feel like fixing it. So white Jeep is not going to go to waste yet. I'm going to drive it for a while, put it to use. I don't really have anything else to drive yet. Um, Aaron's old Dodge truck. Um, when we were fixing it for him. I'm going to go ahead and fix it and keep it for a spare to drive around or whatever. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about Aaron, where he's been. Um, my buddy Austin Sanders is actually going to come back and start helping me film. He did a little bit about a week ago, but he actually had some vacation plans, so he wasn't able to uh, stay. So Aaron decided to go back to work at the hobby shop. Us being brothers, we bumped heads a lot. Um, I still love him to death, and I'd rather us not work together, uh, per se, just because we're two totally different people when it comes to working on things. and mechanical stuff really isn't his thing he's more of an audio guy on rc cars stuff like that so it's fine we still love each other we're still brothers we still see each other all the time so it's just better that it's that way and uh so yeah austin's gonna be helping me film and do that stuff but we are back at it so that's what's up with the jeep that's what's up with his truck i'll be starting to mess with that but we got the flat nasty over here and we're working on getting the um pan completely bolted up underneath the engine like it's supposed to be <sighs> so gosh i'm talking so much I got the monster hook put on here. I'm thinking about just like tack welding it maybe or putting some welds on it to keep someone from stealing it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I may throw some welds on there. But I actually took a five gallon oil bucket, screwed it to the flatbed, and that's where I'm going to keep the rope at um, in the back there. But what is most exciting about what I'm talking about, I'll stop blabbing, is I've got some freaking bull horns or cow horns really um, out on the hood of this baby. So these are going to be sick. So we'll tack me these things put on there. Oh baby, there they are guys. The horns are on the freaking hood. <laughs> oh, they're pretty stout too. They ain't going nowhere. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you guys freaking think. Mm. So up next right here on the video guys, my buddy Kevin over at Full Send Diesel. You have to go check them out on Facebook. They have a nice website too. Uh, I want to say it's FullSendDiesel.com. Let's see. Yep, www.FullSendDiesel.com. Go check him out. He's got all kinds of stuff from the AN braided line kits, turbo kits, custom fab, turbos. They got everything freaking diesel on their website. And we've got these sick transmission mount bracket or transmission cooler brackets that we're gonna mount up here on the side of the, the truck. And we've got this huge training cooler. So you guys know we've been having some transmission cooling issues. And uh, he said, brother, you put this thing on there, you'll be trying to keep everything else cool. You don't have to worry about that transmission. So uh, I'm going to get the old cooler off there and get it unbolted. We're going to get this one mounted up there and put some power to it. Make sure she turns on and works like she's supposed to and then we'll run the lines. So there you have it guys. I got our full send diesel transmission cooler hooked up. It's wired up. I got to do something with these wires, but the mounts are definitely sick. And the way we've got it, it's going to be pulling air through it. So maybe it'll work. We're going to build like an aluminum box here to cover it up to uh, keep it sucking from a lot of dust. Keep it from sucking a lot of dust, stuff like that. I got our trans transmission lines already hooked up to it. I'm just gonna run those to the transmission. So there it is, all hooked up. So industrial injection, I called Tyler. I said, yo, I said, I need some stickers for the truck. He sent me this huge freaking roll of stickers and these gigantic stickers we're gonna put on the side of the truck once it's clean. Um, but I took it upon myself and sticker bombed the whole driver's fender on this thing. So we wrapped the fender in stickers. My buddy Seth's in here. Cleaning the interior. The carpet looks brand new. Yeah. So, make sure you guys are tuning in to the next upload. We'll be out at Rancho with the flatty, hopefully, not tearing it up, but having a good time.